Every November 17, the Catholic Church celebrates the life and example of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, a medieval noblewoman who responded to personal tragedy by embracing Saint Francis's ideals of poverty and service. Elizabeth was born in Hungary in the castle of Sarospatic on 7 July 1207, the daughter of King Andrew II of Hungary and Gertrude of Morania. Her ancestry included many notable figures of European royalty going back as far as Vladimir the Great of the Kievan Rus. Elizabeth was brought to the court of Thuringia in central Germany, to be betrothed to Louis IV, Landgrave of Thuringia, also known as Ludwig IV. She was raised by the Thuringian court to become familiar with the local language and culture. In 1221, at the age of 14, Elizabeth married Louis, the same year he was enthroned as Landgrave. While taking bread to the poor in secret, she met her husband Louis at a hunting party. To quell suspicions that she was stealing treasure from the castle, Louis asked her to reveal what was hidden under her cloak. At that moment, her cloak fell open and a vision of white and red roses could be seen. Hers is one of many miracles that associate Christian saints with roses. Another story told of Elizabeth, also found in Dietrich of Apolda's Vita, relates how she laid the leper Helias of Eisenach in the bed she shared with her husband. Her mother-in-law, who was horrified, told this immediately to Louis on his return. When Louis removed the bedclothes in great indignation, at that instant, Almighty God opened the eyes of his soul, and instead of a leper he saw the figure of Christ crucified stretched upon the bed. Upon learning that the Franciscan friars arrived in 1223, Elizabeth learned about the ideals of Francis of Assisi and started to live them. His husband, Louis, allowed his wife's charitable efforts, believing that the distribution of his wealth to the poor would bring eternal reward. During this time, Elizabeth appointed priest Conrad von Marburg as her confessor. In the spring of 1226, when floods, famine, and plague wrought havoc in Thuringia, Louis represented Frederick II at the imperial diet held in Cremona. Unfortunately, Louis died of a fever in Otranto, Italy on the 11th of September 1227 en route to join the Sixth Crusade, just a few weeks before the birth of her daughter Gertrude. After Louis's death, his brother, Henry Raspe, assumed the regency during the minority of Elizabeth's eldest child, Herman. After this, Elizabeth made solemn vows similar to those of a nun which included celibacy and complete obedience to Conrad as her confessor and spiritual director. While the treatment she received was extremely harsh including punishments, physical beatings, and sending away her three children to force her to remarry, Elizabeth held fast to her vow. Elizabeth built a hospital at Marburg for the poor and the sick with the money from her dowry, where she and her companions cared for them. In 1231, Elizabeth died in Marburg at the age of 24. Soon after, healing miracles were reported at her grave. By papal command, examinations were held of those who had been healed between August 1232 and January 1235. The results of those examinations were supplemented by a brief vita of the saint-to-be, and together with the testimony of Elizabeth's handmaidens and companions, proved sufficient reason for canonization. She was canonized by Pope Gregory IX on the 24th of May 1235. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.